Welcome back to Mid Journey Monday. We are excited to talk to you today about Mid Journey version 6.1. I'm here with my brother, Warren Tingen, graphic designer extraordinaire and Mid Journey expert. Let's hop on over to him. All right, welcome AI Explorers. Excited to see this new advancement in the Mid Journey platform. Obviously 6.1. Uh, we're going to talk and debate that a little bit today and show some prompts and do a little bit of comparison. My prompt, uh, I'm going to begin with because, well, let, actually, let's take a step back and talk about some of the upgrades here. Uh, they tell us that it's going to create more coherent images with arms, legs, hands, bodies, plants, textures, those kind of things. Uh, improve the image quality uh, for skin textures and those kind of things, add more precise detail where they talk about eyes and faces. So we're going to focus, I'm going to focus on eyes. Uh, Jacob's going to focus on a little bit, something else. And then it just general improvements about the quality of the images, making them a little less AI ish. Uh, if you've played with AI for an extended period of time, you've kind of got an understanding of what that kind of looks like. Uh, the, pixels and artifacts that are included with those versionings and i think 6.1 has improved that dramatically uh, so jacob what are you going to jump in with us first well i so i also want to add though a little bit to this which is you know they say things should look generally more beautiful and i'll agree with you some of those ai artifacts are they're removing them with each version but i think with this version um, I've noticed a little bit of a plastic feel kind of to, to some of the images that I've seen. So there is that. Because this image is supposed, this version is supposed to do these details better, uh, Warren and I picked some images that we thought could highlight the ability of Mid Journey 6.1 to do details. So I'm gonna provide a close up shot of fans and stands because we're gonna see lots of faces, lots of small faces, lots of small hands, see how it does whether it can reliably do that. And then I've already started to run it in version 6.1. And I think the idea here is we're gonna show you, you know, contrast and compare to prior versions. Warren, what about you? All right, I wanted to do, because they said I specifically, and I know eyes can be quite difficult as we've seen in our previous explorations uh, with faces that the eyes can be uh, different or a little askew. Uh, so I'm just doing a close up, an extreme close up of a woman's hazel eye, and I'm going to do it first in version six, uh, and then I'll do it in version 6.1, and we'll see what the uh, difference is. Okay, so I've already uh, got my crowds of basketball fans cheering in the stands, and this is the result that we're getting. One of the things that I like about this already is, uh, and as Warren, as I, Warren and I looked at this earlier, faces in the background sometimes could be just kind of gobbledygook. And now there appears to be less weird faces in the background. We'll see if that's consistent from image to image. But I would say that holds true here. Whereas instead of just like a crowd in the background generally, like an artistic representation of what a crowd might look like, we're getting an actual crowd with individual faces and in general, those faces aren't, they don't appear to be computerized. There's there's one right here. Do you see this, bro? This one looks a little oh, yeah, off, that's, right? Yeah. This head is... Um, yeah, and the head is a little awkward. Over here but on the, the side. The, the main character, he's fantastic. I love it. <laughs> so, so there are some weird things, but that's only one out of four photos, right? So anyway, let's jump on over to your eye images. Okay, so the eyes here, they look really good. And this is six right here. Uh, and you can see it's its doing a variety of things. We can see some of the detail here in the bottom right. Uh, it doesn't look exactly very skin tone. It looks, mm. it has that AI feel. Uh, and then looking at 6.1 here, this top right one has more of that feel of actual skin rather than that AI feel to yeah. it. So there is definitely, I can see some improvements myself in what it's creating, uh, but comparing them side by side, I mean, the eyes have more details. There's more vibrancy to them when you look at them directly. Uh, and we'll have to edit in these. So 
you can see more of this detail in that top left one uh, and the top right one. So these are pretty fantastic. I'm excited by this improvement of skin textures in general. I think the 6.1 eyes, I, I can see like they are significantly better, at least to my view. Okay, you've got some texture, so we're doing some leaves here. I, I like what you're, what I'm already seeing with it. Which version is this? So this is version 5.2, which again, to me, just looks beautiful, right? I, I have always yeah, it's very just artistic. kind of liked. It's artistic. And so um, I'm going to do this again, but upgrade our version to version 6. And the prompt is simple. Uh, oak tree leaves, micro photography. And then we're going to do this again in version 6 and then 6.1 just kind of to see and again compare and contrast what changes but yeah i really like the artistic nature of version 5 um but it looks like your eye is done so let's take another look yeah so there is a lot of detail in that irises and it's a little closer than the 6 and 6.1 uh but there's an odd feel to three of the eyes right <laughs> and rather the like the bottom the bottom right one has probably the best more, more natural looking eye the others we're seeing a lot of oddities so it's like the top left feels more kind of anime uh really wide open even though it has some fantastic detail in the uh iris itself the so it still did a good job. Five did a good job with these these extreme close-up things. Uh, so I'm excited to see what the textures come out like. So as just so this is version 6.1, this is version 6, and this is version 5.2. So as you look at them, like version 5.2 looks more like an art piece. Version 6 looks a little more natural. Some of them, particularly this bottom left, like those look like they could be live leaves that but as you come tree, up to 6.1 yeah. i do think that it it wins i mean look at some of the detail on this the water oh, droplets yeah, really aren't like dew drops right zoom in and, on that one a little bit and they don't look like they don't look like dew drops that are just you know like perfect circles that are artistically made right. in a studio or in photoshop it looks like real water i mean it's so that's has more and natural texture feel to it yeah I decided to do another 6.1 and with the raw filter instead of the standard just to see if it could get a little more texture or detail and it I mean come on who's gonna know that that's not a picture of leaves pretty right. interesting those are really nice that one in particular I would looks use like those for a background and a number of things <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah very interesting very interesting an audible well, postcard <laughs> yeah <laughs> are you going to do some textures but, too or, or are we wrapping uh, up yeah i wanted to do i'm going to do an, an image here i wanted to do uh iridescent if i can spell it <laughs> i don't even know how to spell iridescent uh, I, uh, i'm sure that that's going to be the biggest thing in the youtube comments now those Iridescent yeah. is spelled. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, let me let me <laughs> let me Google that really quick. <laughs> okay, That's yeah. Funny. Iridescent. I was I was right. Uh, okay, iridescent. Uh, extreme. I'm gonna put extreme close up. Extreme close up of an iridescent beetle. Beetle. Mm, that'll be fun. Micro photography. National Geographic. And then I'm going to do it 660 and see the difference. But yeah, the, these, again, to our viewers, National Geographic style, it's, it's really pushing in that training of that type of photography. So I'm looking at an animal. I want to see what that animal looks like in that style. If we had said something like ESPN style or 
uh, sports photography or something of that nature, it would change that dynamic a little bit. I can see that. I've, in fact, now I'm <laughs> curious what that would look like. Nice beetles. I like the, the color quality. So there's the iridescence that you were searching for. Here we've got just some really intense detail on the eyes right here, top right. Uh, and just that nice, tight, super tight depth of field on each of these things where in in six so that was 6.1 and six we see that we lose some of those porous details the eyes are have those nice faceted facets but the skin texture or the the kite right looks metallic or plastic or not it, quite real yeah it's not as quite as good so we can see that they've definitely have some improvements that they've made even though i mean here in our top our bottom left it's got three eyes instead of two <laughs> so it's a little weird <laughs> it's it's a mutation those happen in, in real life right <laughs> those do happen no but the uh, 6.1 so ones are better they're significantly yeah or i guess slightly but it's powerful in a way you know you you inspired me with the uh insects so i've got some ants over here this is 6.1 those are look fantastic at, i know look at how highly detailed the little strands are but then i uh i like to do things on a fun note so i also did these right check that out oh <laughs> it looks like a zoid <laughs> <laughs> well i asked it to put a laser gun strapped to its back so oh, they're not all ants nice. they're they're a little unusual but <laughs> Laser that beam coming off the forehead. They're not they're not they're ants, awesome. but but they they got the laser thing, so that was pretty cool. Um, that was great. But this is a, a neat. I mean, I like I like six point one. Um, and like I said, you know, there are still uses for those prior versions. Like version five point two right. has some artistry to it that I just really enjoy. Um, but it's nice to see, you know, continual improvement. So hopefully, we'll see some amazing things with version six point one as we learn to use it more. Right. And that's one of the things that I love about what Midjourney's model is that they continue to allow you to use those past versions and mm -hmm. experiment with them. And that's what I'm going to tell our audience, you know, use the new version and, and continue to experiment with it and its capabilities, but always be willing to go back and look at, like Jacob said, the artistry of five or the really tightness of six and 6.1 when it comes to photorealism. So thanks for coming to watch Mid Journey Monday and explore version 6.1 together with us. Uh, like and subscribe. Check out these photos and other information on our website at tingenuity.ai. We'll see you around. Thank you.